It's another day, it's another vlog with the G fam. Today is supposedly our free time, but since we never got the chance to visit the Grand Palace, so we decided to push through it later in the afternoon. We are having our breakfast buffet again here at Asia Hotel, Bangkok, Thailand. And since it's our free time today, we decided to have a morning dip at their swimming pool. While waiting for my brother and Alben to join us, my father and my mother is trying to teach my daughter here how to swim because Aviana still don't know how to swim. We took some pictures and TikTok videos after our swimming time and getting ready for our Grand Palace tour. We took Grab for our transportation going to the Grand Palace so that we can arrive there earlier. Before going to the Grand Palace, you should know that wearing sleeveless, shorts, short skirts, ripped jeans, or revealing clothes are not allowed inside the temple. While we are on our way to the Grand Palace, I did not notice that my husband is wearing ripped jeans. So when we are about to enter the Grand Palace, the lady outside the gate is pointing my husband's jeans and she's holding a pants that my husband could wear inside the temple. So my husband doesn't have a choice but to buy those pants with an elephant design. He's not comfortable to wear it but he does not have a choice. Upon entering the Grand Palace, there is a four big electric fan facing with you. I don't know if it is alcohol or water spreading but it looks like a mist. It's a good thing because knowing we are still facing pandemic viruses up to this day, we are confident that they take precautions for us tourists. Luckily, we witnessed also the military having their routine. It's nice to see them synchronize marching. I don't know if they are military or presidential security or they are the king's guards. So guys, comment down below. Let me know what to call them here in Thailand. As you can see, we are bringing our umbrellas and handheld electric fan because the weather here in Thailand is very hot. Guys, aside from bringing umbrellas and handheld fan, don't forget to bring water or tumbler with you to avoid dehydration. The entrance fee here at the Grand Palace is 500 Thailand baht per adult and my toddler is 4 years old and she's free of charge. After paying our tickets, we enter the main entrance for tourists and we face again those big electric fans with a mist. So it's a good thing again because it's not just once but twice they are willing to spray those viruses. The 500 Thailand baht entrance fee comes with a small water bottle and they also have a map of the Grand Palace so that you will never be lost because guys, their Grand Palace is so big that makes you the one to surrender turning around. And trivia guys! Do not climb those wall barriers or partition. I don't know what to call those things but guys, do not ever climb and sit down there taking a picture because it's not allowed. I myself experienced it and I will definitely not do it again. So story time, I did climb and sit down those partition taking pictures. Well on my back there is someone lady shouting Thai language. I didn't notice that she is referring me and when I look at my back, there is this guy in uniform running towards me. I felt very nervous because I thought I would be jailed in Thailand for sitting down those partition. He then approached my brother because he's the one holding my phone, taking pictures of me and he then ordered my brother to delete those pictures. My brother also felt nervous and when my phone automatically locked, he then gave me my phone to unlock it. After deleting those pictures, he then ordered me to delete the recently deleted and I comply by deleting all of my recently deleted album. I showed him my phone with a zero picture of my recently deleted album and he then walked out. 
that was my unforgettable experience at the Grand Palace, guys. Because of my nervous, I forgot to say sorry and explain myself that I did not know that it's not allowed to sit down to the personnel. I just comply and deleted it all for me to escape myself in the situation. So guys, if you don't want to experience what I've experienced at the Grand Palace, you should not climb and sit down those partition. After taking pictures, videos, and TikTok videos, we decided to end our Grand Palace tour. And upon exiting, we witnessed again their military doing their routines. Since we had a very tiring tour, we found a small restaurant outside the Grand Palace and had our lunch. Their food is very good and we like it. It's worth it for the price. After having our lunch, we then proceeded to go to the mall to buy some pasalubong or souvenirs at MBK Center. So that's it for today's video guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy the vlog. If you have some questions regarding of our Thailand tour, please comment down below. I would love to help and share our experience. Like and subscribe to my channel. Bye!